I want to tell you that uh, I listened very carefully to the things that were said in the afternoon, uh, well in the morning as well, but the afternoon meeting, um, while not driven on the rules side of things, uh, there were, this is obviously a very passionate subject. Um, 1284 is not perfect, Senate Bill 109 is not perfect, um, but the reality is that those are the tools that they've given us to, to work with at this point. Um, there is another session in January, and a lot of the comments that I heard um, last Friday afternoon are probably more appropriate for that forum. <coughs> I just want the industry to know and the people sitting at this table that I heard your comments. Um, and candidly, I think there's some merit to a lot that was said. And uh, I'm happy to, uh, to address that with uh, our General Assembly as we move forward. Um, whether or not you know, they, they choose to make a, a general policy decision, public policy decision to move those issues forward is yet to, uh, to be determined. But I also know that that process is starting right now. There are a number of lobbyists that are out, um, uh, and that's what lobbyists get paid to do. And I'm hopeful that we can have two-way communication. Um, if you're not familiar with it, um, it's much easier to march side by side uh, into those forums, and we'll get a heck of a lot more done uh, than we will be fragmented. So I welcome the dialogue and the opportunity to work with um, you know, the lobbyists and the industry. <coughs> um, second is, um, uh, the last meeting, the, the last rulemaking uh, making meeting that we had, everybody was given a book. Um, and just, again, for the benefit of the new folks that are here, um, it, it contained a, a number of drafts. Um, and those drafts were taken from a number of other regulatory arenas that the Department of Revenue is involved with. They are only drafts, and that's all they are. Um, they are by no means, no stretch of the imagination, law. This is a, a, a long process, um, and a lot has to be done before we get to that point. They're just simply, um, you know, starting point. Um, the, the good side of using something or a parallel to that is many of those have already been through what's called a 106 action. They've been tested in court, although this is a new arena, medical marijuana arena, but the process is <coughs> There is a case law that supports um, using uh, those kinds of an approach. Um, the second thing is, in the book itself, um, the very uh, first thing is the introductory remarks. You'll find a memo from uh, our AG that deals with the rulemaking procedures. And um, it's, it's a good reference for you to go back and look at, um, again, without a statutory mandate, and that's the critical piece here, without a statutory mandate, we can't promulgate a rule. Um, I guess the second piece of that is we can clarify existing statute uh, if it's ambiguous or needs clarification. But we don't have the ability to change what is law in 1284. We can't promulgate a rule that's contrary to what's in 1284. Regardless of what 1284 says, that's the landscape that we have to deal with at this point. Um, so if, if you have a question as to whether or not something pertains, just remember that we have to have a statutory basis and purpose to promulgate a rule. That is, it has to be buried or found in 1284 uh, somewhere before we can move forward. And the other thing I think that's uh, worth mentioning is 1284 also contains the CDPHE side of things. Uh, many portions of this deal with the health department. The health department has an advisory group that they put together, and this forum is to deal with the business side of it and not the patient doctor side of things that the, uh, the health department's dealing with. So even though uh, under Title 25, I believe there's, there's some uh, parts of uh, 1284 that pertain to that, we will not be addressing those issues in this forum. There are 20 statutory requirements, uh, and the drafts that I've given you were, uh, a, you know, a very brief attempt at addressing some of the things that are needed there. They're all listed in the index that you have in, a, in the front of your book. Uh, we started discussing drafts, uh, and we actually got through three of them. Uh, it was a very good discussion. Um, I heard what you said. Uh, I took your comments and I put them in a redraft, which has been distributed to all of you. And I'm not going to ask anybody to, you know, be put on the spot, read through this right now, uh, and speak to it. But I, I, I will give it to you for your consideration, and we'll address them at the next meeting moving forward. So you've got some time um, to truly digest it and comment. Uh, I hope we can continue that dialogue today. Um, I've set aside time until three o'clock this afternoon. Um, candidly, it might be a little too much time uh, if people start getting punchy, uh, you know, and I, I get it. This is a very intense, um, 
uh, we'll take an hour for lunch at noon, but we'll kind of gauge it as time goes. Um, you know, if anybody has recommendations about what they want to do in that arena, speak up at any time, and we'll give it to the group for their consideration. But uh, you have my attention until at least 3 o'clock today. It's one step at a time. Um, we had good dialogue at the last meeting. There was a little stepping on each other, so I'm going to ask that as we move forward that you, you be recognized to comment uh, as we go, and it will just make the protocol a little bit more. Um, I, I promise I'll recognize everybody that asks to recognize. Uh, CMMR has graciously um, offered to live stream um, this meeting. I understand that they had a technical difficulty on the front end, so the very first part of it will be recorded and put on the website, but they're going to make an effort to try and stream it um, as we move forward. Is that Absolutely. Correct? We should be uh, live streaming uh, certainly by the lunch break. Okay. Um, and in the future, but the first part of the meeting will be posted by the end, by the end of the business day. Okay, great. Thank you, and I, I appreciate your efforts there. Uh, we'll probably engage in the same kind of protocol that we did at the last meeting, um, but um, what you have in that great book is really my perception of my side of things, and I put it out there for all of you to comment. What I don't have and what I hope to get today uh, is your side your perception. And, uh, as we move forward, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with a lot of the detail this morning. Um, I hope to break up into groups. I've identified specifically nine different groups that are represented at the table and impact area. Uh, the government side of things I've, I've really left generically. Uh, it includes law enforcement, it includes health department, um, it includes local government, city, county, and so forth. Um, but I, I need your, your perceptions and I, I have broken the, the representation at the table into groups, uh, and I'll offer some time for you to, to meet and discuss uh, the issues that you see, and we'll identify them moving forward. Um, it's things that I'm hopeful that I can champion you, each of your groups, to go out with the industry and bring some proposals back to us. Um, I'm an open book. I've given you sort of my uh, roadmap, if you will, and. I would ask the same of you in a, in a fair and candid way. It's, uh, this, this process is all about compromise, but it's all about also basing it with a legal foundation based in law, and that's the critical, critical part here. So we have a process in place to make that happen. Um, I've always welcomed the dialogue, and I hope that, that I, can, I can get participation from everybody at the table. Who gets great? Notice the technology as a whole category is not one of these groups. Do you see that just falling within? various subgroups, things like standards for security, standards for POS systems, that you said this morning, um, and others along those lines. Yeah, that might be one of the issues that we'll bring forward. Your group may identify that, and we'll discuss where it's most appropriate. Um, the technology side of things itself, there are three groups, two groups, um, right now working. Uh, we have hired a consultant. Um, and it, it's more than just the industry side of it. Uh, it's ensuring the patient registry may, remains confidential. It's ensuring law enforcement has access when they, uh, they encounter somebody that's in possession of something who claims to be a patient, that they have the protocols in place as the Constitution provides. Um, it's a, a, you know, a process that ensures that centers have the checks and balances in place um, so that they're not growing too many plants, those kind of things. So. Um, there's, there have been meetings uh, that are being held, and until the requirements have been identified as a whole, um, I really don't know who's going to do what. Um, and I'm just being candid with you. Um, this is government, and unfortunately, nothing moves fast. Um, it's just kind of reality. Of it. But uh, I would also go on record to say that uh, I have been extremely vocal with all of these groups, and I continue to be vocal with these groups. These systems have to be in place and online no later than January, February of next year, um, so that I've got time to ensure that the, the industry understands how to use the systems, law enforcement has the ability to access them, they're tested, they work, uh, we work out all the bucks before July 1 comes around when things go online. Uh, if it doesn't happen that way, um, the IT folks are, are really going to be holding the bag. And I, I mean, I pulled no punches about that. Uh, in this forum or any other, um, I, even with the, the, the politicians, the legislators, 
I, uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll say it. Um, I can walk out the room today. I've got a retirement. I don't, you know, I don't need to do this, and I'm going to do what's right for this industry moving this forward. And so, uh, fortunately, I have the ability to be vocal and not have to worry about it, for whatever it's worth. One, one more follow-up now. Yes, great. Um, just again, back to the sheet. From my own standpoint, having the government as a sort of separate group would be less desirable to me than having one or two government representatives within our MIPS group, for example. I don't know if there's a way we can cross over some of that or how you're planning it. Well, and I'll explain that as we move forward. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let's see. 